beekeeping. Let's see from my brother Joe. I put together a bunch of pictures. Now I just wanted to show you uh, these are some some beehives right here, and these bottom ones right here. Um, these are these are hive bodies. And what happens is there's a little entrance down here at the bottom, and the bees come in through the bottom, and then they they make uh, they make more bees right here, and then they keep their honey um, up here, and it's kind of mixed together. Um, but there's ways that you can separate it, and uh, you can make money both off getting the bees and getting the honey. And these are very heavy, and so that's why these ones are a little bit smaller because they're easier to lift. Um, and that's a that's a hive top. So a hive basically consists of a bottom which you can't cannot see right here, and then a bunch of uh, hive bodies. And the ones where you collect honey are called supers. They're pretty much the same thing. It's just what you call them. Uh, hive bodies where the bees like to reproduce. And the super is where you like to to collect the honey, and uh, so oops, that didn't work out very well. But here's a here's a picture. So how much does it cost per hive? So uh, each box. So I, I think starting with four boxes is good. You can get two big ones and and two uh, a medium sized ones. So these are so called full size, I think, or large. These are called medium. They pretty much cost about the same thing, but. Um, Anyways, uh, about fifty-five dollars per box. This is for say you're going to set set up one hive. It's about fifty-five dollars per box, and you're going to get four of them for one hive. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, I was pressing on it with the screen, but I wasn't using the mouse. Um, and so that's about uh, a little over two hundred dollars for one hive. You're going to start with just, oops, you're going to start with just what the bees in the very bottom one, and then then you're going to add more as they grow. Um, and then $125 per package or per nuke. And that's how you're going to get the bees. You're either going to get them in a package or you're going to get them in a nuke. And I'll explain to you what those are. So what's the payout? So after you spent $350 per hive, that's about what I did. I got two hives and all the stuff and everything, and it cost me about $700. So the payout is after the first year, because you have to wait a year for them to grow, um, then they'll make about $200 to $300 per year. That's estimating. Why? Because... They're going to keep on growing, and you get to cut these. You get to when they keep on growing and they get too big for their house. You got to hurry up and and sell some of them. Um, otherwise, they'll leave. They'll what you call swarm, and so you don't want them to leave. So what you do is you split. You take some of them out and you can sell them. And so you, for each split, you can do at least one per year. You get 125 bucks. And then if you sell the honey and you get between 60 and 100 pounds of honey for each hive. Um, then you can make you know two dollars for each one. You know you can make uh, you can make two hundred to three hundred dollars per year for each one of your hives. So you know you're gonna you're gonna pay for that, and then the first year you're gonna have to wait, and then the second year you're gonna, it's gonna pay for itself. But after that, if you've got your hives, you know these things the the wood will last for a long time. Um, you know if you paint them and everything, so uh, they can last twenty or thirty years, and if you keep your bees going, they'll last a long time. And so if you have ten hives. That's three thousand dollars a year. Oops, two to three thousand dollars a year. If you have a hundred hives, that can be up to a hundred thousand dollars. So you make a lot of money. So here's the bee, the the bee wax, and what the bees do is they they make this stuff on frames, and I'll show you the frames, and they go inside and they fill it full of honey right there. Um, so you're you're gonna get your bees in different types of things. This is a package right here, and they send this through the 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 mail, like the postal service, like you know, like. Uh, like the U.S. Postal Service, the person that drives around in the little Jeep, they can deliver these, um, and they weigh them by pounds, or either two pounds or three pounds, and that's how they they, they measure how much is in them. Um, and you can order these, and they have uh, they have a little queen inside, and she's in her little cage and stuff, and you can order that, uh, or you can get a nuke, and this is a nuke, and it's they're already they're already it's like almost like a a bunch of bees in there, and they've already there's another nuke. I got a nuke, but my nuke was made out of like. Um, cardboard and so I just took the new cat uh, so what the, what it is you have a bunch of frames inside and you can take the frames out and put them in your hive so this is some equipment maybe we'll return to that so here's a picture and this is a hive body the bottom and someone has a bunch of frames right here so what you do is is when you get your package is you either dump them in here you literally dump them and, and uh, they don't bite you nothing happens they don't sting you you literally dump it and you you put a lid on and then you put some like straw in front of it because you want them to get used to it and you that's if you get a package, and they stay there and they don't move. And then after a couple of days, we come. Then you you take the grass away, and they'll stay in the hive. Um, but you see these frames right here. These I'll show you a picture of the frames. Uh, here's some frames right here. And uh, if you get a nuke, which is one of these or one of these, 
um, then you've already got frames in it. And you just pull the frames out and you stick them in. And that's a little bit better because they will, um, if you get them in a nuke, then they, they've, they've already, it's called drawn out their comb. Uh, this is the comb down here. And they've already made the wax right here and you can put the bees in it. So, so once you get your bees inside, so you're going to, you're going to order your bees and they're either going to come in a nuke or they're going to come in a package. It's a package right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to dump them in your hive right here and you're going to close up your hive and then you're going to stick a bunch of sugar water. Uh, you can do 50% sugar, 50% water and you're going to stick it on top. See, look. And then you put little holes in the uh, lid and the bees come up and they grab it. So that's one way. I put mine in a button in one of these right here and then I hung it as if it was a frame. So here's, here's a look at a, a bee uh, hive. And this is your beehive right here. And then you have your supers up here. That's where you collect the honey. And the bees will start in the middle, in the, in the very center. They'll make all the bees. They'll make all the bees. And then they put the honey on the outside. But they keep on growing out. And some people will put excluders. They're like little things. Because you have the queen honeybee that she's in here. And the queen honeybee will go around and she will lay eggs. But you don't want those eggs to get in your, to get in your honey. So what you do is in between these boxes you put an excluder right here and that prevents the queen from coming up and so she can't lay any eggs up here so everything that you take off the top because there's a queen excluder that prevents the queen from coming up everything will be just pure honey so here's another picture of these frames right here a box with the frames and you can get different types of frame this looks like it's a, a plastic frame you know or it's wood on the outside but it's plastic um, right here and so they made they actually printed this out of plastic and then they kind of covered it with a little bit of wax so the honey was, the bees go mmm and they get close to it and, and want it but um, this is nice because it's really strong so it lasts year after year and it's already printed in the shape of the honeycomb you know it's already got that little thing and they'll go and they'll, they'll make their their uh, things this one um, this is one that they kind of let the bees do it completely here's the frame and the bees kind of just built on it themselves and you can see all the bees in here now when the bees come in and they start building on the frame, remember all these frames are sitting inside the hive. They're sitting inside your hive right there. Um, but when they start building on it, towards the center, they like to make their new bees right here. So they laid eggs. And then on the outside, they lay their honey. So you can see that by the color. If you look right here, it's kind of a, a golden color versus the outside is kind of a whitish color. And the whitish color is honey. And the inside are, are bees. Uh, they're, they're, they're eggs. So here's another picture. You can see these are eggs. These are little larvae in here, little worm type things. And they're, they're eggs that grew and they're going to turn into honeybees. And these bees will go and they'll take care of it and they'll cap it off. And then when you actually look at your bees, you'll actually see some of them crawling out. And this is your honey right here. And once it's been capped off, once the honey's been capped off, then it's good to go. It's good to eat. Um, but anyways, so here's, here's your different type of workers in, in, the, in the beehive. You have the queen bee. You only have one and she's the most important one. And you have workers and drones. And the queen bee is easy to recognize because you got all these guys going around. They all look exactly the same. And then this one looks a little bit different. And sometimes they'll put a, like, a, little, a little mark on it. That way they know which one is the queen bee. So here is, here's a bunch of larvae. And here's a bunch of little eggs they got planted right there. And they'll grow up into bee bees. And then you can see they, the kind of the life cycle. And so here we have right here, we have all the bees. And we have all the, uh, the capped. So these are new bees being created, and, and you can get like hundreds of bees you know, every day. So once you've set up your hive and you let it sit, so say you, know, you get a new hive, a new package of bees, and you put it in the hive and you wait after four to eight weeks, you know, then you're going to add more and more. And if you look over here, you know, they, they, put, they, just, they just had one box, and the bees come in through here. They just had one box, and then after uh, a year, they or no, not a year, after less time, like I've got two boxes now on one of my hives. Um, you, once it, it fills up, you know they filled seven out of ten frames, and that's the magic number they use. Because if there's ten frames in here, if they filled up seven out of the ten frames, then you add another box, and then they start adding honey and stuff. And you can put a queen excluder that way. You just get honey on the top, and that's it. But then, you know, say like a year has been gone by, and you can do this once a year or more, depending on how your bees are doing. You don't want them to get too crowded. If they get too crowded, then they'll leave, and you don't want that to happen. Or at least half of them will leave, and they'll leave half. But you don't want that to happen because, you, you know, if you did it yourself, if you took out a lot of them yourself, you can make money off that. It's like $125 just like, you know, leaving. Goodbye. 
So you don't want to do that. So what you do is you can take out some frames. And you make sure they don't have the queen on them because you want to leave the queen inside your hive and you put them in a new hive and they, they will make their own queen and they'll make their own hive. And then you can, you can sell that. So here's your honey. This is all capped honey right here. And there's a hot knife and the hot knife just shaves off the top and then the honey just kind of falls out. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to send you some links of some really cool... Um, uh, places you can go to learn more about it but um, you, there's lots of YouTube videos and uh, we'll see if we can get you some bees if uh, if that's what you want to do so anyways